Yeah, uh, I'm Benjamin Scholl. I'm a postdoc in the David Fitzpatrick's lab at the Max Planck Florida Institute for Neuroscience. And you're an experimentalist? I'm an experimentalist. So theory, I think, plays two roles within the framework of the science that we do. And the first is that it's probably the, the more unfortunate or silly version, which is that it helps us explain our data. So in many cases, we just do an experiment and for, because we have some crazy idea or we have some interesting idea that we want to explore. And then we don't understand our data or we want to understand our data further beyond the more simplistic approach that we usually take. And I think that's where generally theory comes in and then sort of helps us uh, helps us sort of delineate different aspects of our data or characterize it in a much better way that illuminates sort of the questions that we're trying to understand. And in many cases, I think it helps us better understand the questions that we first asked, to be honest. But unfortunately, I think what I would really like theory to be doing is actually trying to make predictions to try to drive the experiments that I want to do. And in many cases, the predictions and the, theory, the, the modeling framework that we're um, relying on is very simplistic because in some cases I think experimentalists are much farther ahead than theorists are or are just sprinting to the finish line where theorists are maybe like trying to do a good job of cleaning up all the trash along the way or something. <laughs> I shouldn't say trash. You need to hybridize neuroscience and, and that's already happening to a large extent but um, Inter intermingling and intermixing theorists with experimentalists, having conferences like COSINE, having um, interdisciplinary departments in neuroscience. I think in general that probably fosters what is necessary, which is sort of people who are interested in both on both aisles, right? Like experimentalists that are interested in different theories and trying to understand uh, computational theories and, and theorists being interested in all the different things that experimentalists are doing or the different ideas uh, that experiments, experimentalists like to test. and. That, that, I don't know. It's hard for me to say that that does, I wish that existed more. Maybe it does exist a lot more than I, than, than, than is the reality, but I did come from a place where it, that was the norm, right? So I came from UT Austin and that was how everything worked there. Everybody intermingled together and everybody liked what everybody else was doing.